I'm outside the beaver tail stand in the market. You may remember a couple weeks ago I wrote about how the canal was the most overrated thing about Ottawa. And I mentioned that actually beaver tails may be the most overrated. Now I hadn't ever had one, but I had this on good authority from people who had beaver tails. So the beaver tail people very kindly invited me down, put me in a hat, I've got a very stylish, you know, uh, apron on, and I'm here to cook my very first beaver tail and give it a try. So let's head inside and see how it goes. We want you to make a beaver tail, put whatever you want on it, try it, and tell us how you feel about it. You go around the edges a little bit to soften it up, and then you're going to, kind of a simultaneous motion, pulling it and stretching it. Stretch it. Perfect. Now safety first, when you put it into the fryer, Oops. make sure you put Oops. it away it. from yourself. Yeah. Perfect. So how many beaver tails do you make in one day? It depends on the. It depends on how busy it is. Yeah. A couple of thousand on a busy day. Am I putting it in the thing? Or yeah, let's put it in here and get a little Apple, bit of oil off. Oh. Two napkins. I'm going to butter it first. Yeah, yeah. Pick it up with the napkins. Oh, pick up the beaver tail with the napkins. Oh. <laughs> so I'm picking up my beaver tail. That's right. Just and I just drop it in there? Yep. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. You're going to season on for a little bit of extra flavor. Alright. Very sweet. So I've just finished my very first beaver tail, and I have to say, it's not too bad. I couldn't eat the whole thing, had a couple bites of cinnamon and butter with some lemon on top, and sure it tasted nice, but I'm not a huge sweets person, so it doesn't quite do it for me. If, it, if you are a sweets person, on the other hand, I would highly recommend a beaver tail down here in the Byward Market.